Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet potato casserole that you can put in your freezer. Now this recipe is part of my 25 days of freezer meal series. If you need to get caught up, I've got a link in the description below, so make sure you check it out. Now, sweet potato casserole is a really famous side dish for holidays. It goes well with Thanksgiving dinner, with Christmas dinner. I could probably eat it all year long because I love sweet potatoes. And this one is really easy to make ahead of time. I don't know about you, but I really don't like standing in front of a pot boiling potatoes, waiting for them to boil, then mashing them, then putting them all together, and then cooking it. I mean, if you're cooking Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, you've probably got a whole lot of other things to do. So how easy would it be to be able to make this ahead of time and just pull it out when you're ready to bake? Now I do have a tool that had really helped me when I made my sweet potatoes. I use an immersion blender. You just plug it into the wall and then you put it inside the pot and it mashes and mixes the potatoes for you. I also use it for like soups and other things. And I've got a link in the description below if you want to purchase one. Now it is an affiliate link, so if you make a purchase through that link, I will make a commission at no extra cost to you. But I seriously love it. It saves me a whole lot of time. If you don't have an immersion blender, you could also use a potato masher instead. You can probably find it at the dollar store. And this particular casserole also has a crumble that goes on top. You can make that ahead of time as well. And you can put it in a freezer bag like I did, or you can probably even put it on the casserole and then freeze it. I did that with my apple crisp, and you can find a link to that in my 25 days of freezer meal series as well. So let me show you how it's made. Start by washing and chopping one and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. This will make about four or five cups of mashed. Once you've chopped all of them, add them to a pot of boiling water. While the sweet potatoes cook, in a large mixing bowl, add a half cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of brown sugar, and then start combining. Next, cut in one stick of cold butter. Now, this is not mozzarella cheese, this is actually butter. I used a grater to grate my butter. Once the butter is cut in, add a half cup of chopped pecans. Now at this point, you can add it to a quart-sized freezer bag. You can add it to the finished casserole if you want, but I am freezing mine separately. Once the potatoes are done boiling, drain them and add them back into the pot. With either a potato masher or an immersion blender, go ahead and mash them all up. They don't have to be perfect, just enough to get most of the chunks out. Once that is finished, crack in two eggs, then add a half cup of milk, one fourth cup brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg and then half a stick of mostly melted butter, and then stir to combine. Once that is finished, you can add it to an eight x eight foil casserole dish. Smooth it out with a spoon and then cover with aluminum foil Label it with the recipe name, the date, and the baking instructions, and then lay flat in the freezer with the crumble. 
When you're ready to bake, thaw it in the fridge overnight and bake it at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. If you would like a printable recipe for this sweet potato casserole, you can find the link in the description below. Also, you can find the link to my 25 days of freezer meal series if you need some more ideas. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get more updates on when I post my grocery hauls, my recipes, and my meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.